I'm Elizabeth Alfano with After Buzz TV. Tonight, I'm on Hollywood's most important red carpet. It's the annual gala for the influential charity, Last Chance for Animals. Oh, you're so kind. Joanna Krupa, it's always wonderful to see you. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you, honey. So before we talk about animals, and we'll get it right away to that, what are you wearing? It's stunning. Uh, thank you. This is Nadine Marabi. Oh, my word. It's stunning. Can we see the back? Yeah, of course. Always gorgeous. So you have done so much work for animals. You've modeled for PETA. You've spoken out against fur. And recently, I saw you on Facebook, I believe it was, in London. Tell me what you were doing there. Uh, well, in London, I mean, just like it is all over the world, it's like we're still trying to fight for people like for circuses to stop using wild animals you know it's we're all for people showing their talent in circuses no problem but animals wild animals it's not in their nature to you know jump through fire hoops through you know do different tricks and the reason they do it is because they're scared because they're abused tortured if they don't do it and like people need to understand parents need to understand this is not natural for these animals so what I was doing there was you know I, I was body painted as a tiger in front of the parliament kind of like speaking up be like you know what this is the time that we just need to stop this and I know you know people in England and you know there's they love animals and they, they try to do whatever they can and it's like you know I think just keep raising your voice and keep you know promoting it it's eventually gonna be a success so yeah I was I was there trying you know to help PETA to raise awareness even more I think people in time are going to make the connection but what we think is good for animals is not actually good for animals. It's a thousand percent true and the problem is like for me you know these animals don't speak and I think people take advantage of them be like oh how can we profit on something that doesn't speak doesn't tell us you know what this is hurting this is not what I like I'm miserable I'm depressed I'm stressed they can't call 911 they can't call their mom they can't call their dad be like oh my god these people are hurting me you know they're torturing me I'm in pain like please help me they don't have a voice and that's why like I'm so sensitive to the subject because you know people need to wake up you know like with my dogs like when I'm at home let's you know if I'm at the park and let's say they step you know on a fox tail you know they're like oh their paw is like curled up and it hurts them and it's just something so small like for people like I try to under I try to explain it if you get a paper cut doesn't that hurt just a stupid little paper cut so imagine all the stuff these animals go through you know not only with you know in circuses when they're skinned alive for fur in laboratories for you know for cosmetics it's just come on it needs to stop there's so we're in 2017 there's so many amazing te you know technology is such an amazing thing there's so many other ways to do these kind of tests and to do it on animals and with these kind of organization it's you know we just got to keep just got to keep doing it and we got to keep at it and I love to hear a fashion model a super fashion model at that talk out talk out against fur I try I try my best you know it's like I at, at one point in my life I was like so angry at people but now I'm just like you know what I do my job I speak my mind I try to wear awareness and at the end of the day a lot of these people that do wear fur they know what goes on well, they know it's like hello you just google it everybody knows and if they decide to wear it you know what I put it on their own conscience I believe in karma and you know it is what it is but I try to be the voice but I can't change everybody's mind but if I could change that one person to change their friend's mind and then that friend will change another mind that's all that matters one last thing what would you tell people is the one simple thing they can do right now today to help animals you know what if there's so many different ways you can donate you can uh, foster a dog or cat you can go to shelter volunteer give them love you know clean up their the shelter uh, their little uh, cage you can you know tell your friends hey why are you wearing fur and like explain to them what's going on if you know a girlfriend or, or you know a friend is going taking their kids to the circus explain to them that's not the best thing to do so there's so many different ways you know if you're taking a, a walk with your dogs and you see somebody abusing uh, their dog be a voice don't be scared to be a voice because they don't have one so they need you be a voice thank you so much for thank speaking so with me so nice to see you.